Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to fix code P0108, guys, on 2.4 multi air engine. That same 2.4 multi air engine, guys, has been used in so many vehicles. One of them is Dodge Dart, what we have here. Chrysler 200, Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, Dodge Ram Pro Master City, Fiat 500X and Fiat Toro guys. All these vehicles use that 2.4 multi-air engine. So if you have a code P0108, stay with us and we'll explain how to fix it and what causes that. Quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, including this generation guys, uh, uh, Dodge Dart here with that 2.4 multi-air engine guys, we'll have more than 200 videos. We take them completely apart. Why we guys do all that? Simply because the mission in our shop guys is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys um, if you guys need to buy any replacement parts, tools, scanner that we use, anything like that, check out the link in the description of the video below. We share all that guys for your convenience. So, we have a 2015 Dodge Dart 2.4 multi air engine guys. Okay, you can see uh, all of you that have the 2.4, it will look like that. Here we have a black cover, we have ours painted, but uh, I'll go ahead guys and show you how, okay, the engine light is on and how we guys have that coat, okay, and what we need to do to, fi to fix it, excuse me. So I'll go ahead, connect it to the OBD port, okay, right there under the dash. Once we guys connect it, I'm going to go inside and here guys, okay, we need to start the car and check it out how the engine light will be on now. So, what I'm going to do next, guys, I'll turn the ignition back on. Okay, ignition is on. Now we're going to connect to the OBD port uh, computer. Okay, we're connecting to the engine computer. And what it will do, guys, actually, it's going to uh, read the codes and tell us, okay, what's wrong with our vehicle. So let's figure it out now. We have two codes found. Okay. And the code that we'll be discussing today, guys, which actually can lead to another code as well. Okay, it's called P0108, guys. Manifold, absolute pressure, sensor, barometric pressure, circuit high. Now, you can see we have another code 1185 that could be triggered because of that code as well, guys. That code could trigger two codes. So, what we'll do now guys, okay, I want to, I will exit the vehicle, okay, and we have a spare engine that I'll demonstrate guys what needs to be done because otherwise on this engine is almost impossible. So let's get out, okay, and let me show you quick. Now, what needs to be done guys, okay, this is the spare 2.4 multi-air engine, that's the same engine uh, out of another Dodge, okay, with the, with the same 2.4 multi-air engine. This is on the back side, the one that's towards the dash that you don't see guys, this is your intake manifold. You can see this is your intake, that's what you see on top. And on the intake manifold, guys, you have one sensor. This is called a MAP sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor or barrel sensor, guys, this right here. This sensor is the one that's causing the trouble, guys. Now, we have a video on the channel how to remove and replace that one. If you want to check it out, uh, check it out, guys, because it's very important how you remove it. Otherwise, you can, re uh, you can damage your whole intake. The video will be on the channel, but if you have that code, check the connector, make sure the wire is plugged in, and if that doesn't fix the problem, guys, uh, replace that sensor. That sensor could be bad. So if you want to see the video, check it out. The purpose of today's video is to see if a new sensor will fix that. So we'll go ahead, replace ours, and we'll see if that will take care of the problem now. So the sensor has been replaced. We are going back in the car. What I will do now, I'll turn the ignition on without starting the car, guys, and we're going to go ahead, okay, and clear the light. Okay, let me show you now. Erase codes. Okay, erase done. We'll go back. Now, I want to start the car and see, guys, okay, if the engine light is off. So, let's check it out. So, engine light is off, guys. I'll go ahead, turn the ignition on. And I want to read the pending codes to see if we have anything that popped up again. So go under pending codes, click here, the selected, ah, the selected mode is not supported. I have to reconnect the scanner because I turned the car off. So let's, uh, let's check that thing out quick guys, because that 1185 code, okay, 
Sometimes it may require a different procedure to reset. I want to check to make sure it's gone. I remember something in the past I used to deal with. Okay, this one has zero codes found so far, so we're going to click now to read the uh, temporary, the not the stored codes, the pending codes. Read codes, pending. No pending code, so that definitely took care of the problem guys, hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.